Hi you guys, welcome back to the Makeup Loft and welcome to my second video on the channel. I'm so, so, so excited today because I'm going to be doing something that sits very comfortably with me, a festival look. If you want to see how to recreate this awesome purpley blue festival inspired look, then just keep watching. So as per usual, the first thing I'm going to do before I start with my eyes is prime them, of course, using my favorite Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. So before we even jump into the colorful festival part of the look, I just wanted to explain to you the four step process that I'm going to be using. First of all, we're going to be applying a darker, deeper color to the outer corner of the eye and blending that upwards towards the eyebrow. Secondly, we'll want to apply a lighter color on the inner corner of the eye and then blend those two shades together. Thirdly, we want to bring a pop to the eye by applying a different shade under the eye. And number four, which is the most fun, um, I want you to apply your glitter, your gems, flowers around your face, eyeliner, whatever you want to just elevate the look one step further. I think with festival looks, it's so much fun to just express yourself and be creative with it. Because in the end, for me, makeup is such a creative and therapeutic process. So yeah, have fun with your festival looks. For this look, I'm going to be using Graffiti Pop City Mini Palette. I'm going to take the deep purple from this palette and just apply that to the outer corner. So when it comes to the outer corner, there are two things that you really want to focus on. You want to make sure that your brush is sort of hugging your brow bone. And you also want to make sure that you're using quite light strokes because you just want a nice blend. You don't really want the, the color to pack on too heavy on the outer corner. Otherwise, it's just going to look like you have a black eye. So now you can really start to see a little bit of definition coming right above your crease and making sure that colors are sort of softly blending into each other. So now onto step two, we are going to go in with the lighter shade of purple in the City Mini palette. And I'm going to take a little bit more of a compact, sorry, a little bit more of a compact brush and dip into that purple because I want a little bit of precision when I'm doing the inner corner. See how I'm using very like light, short strokes just while I'm applying that initial bit of color. It really, really helps to sort of blend that in with the deeper purple. I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm going to blend the darker purple with the lighter purple just so you get a really seamless blend where those two colors meet. Now for the under eye, you can either use purple again and just sort of mimic what you did with the lid or you can elevate your eye just that one step further by using another pop of color. So. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be using blue. So using a finer brush, I'm gonna dip into that color and then just apply that on my under eye. So now I'm gonna apply lashes, but I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want anyone to see me mess that up. So one moment. Okay, I'm back, I've got lashes on now, and now I'm just gonna add my Master Chrome highlighter. Normally when I do quite a bright festival eye, I prefer to use quite a mellow, nudie tone on my lip, only because I don't want my lip to stand out too much. I really want to focus on the eyes when it comes to festivals. Another thing as well is having a deep lip at a festival isn't the most practical thing because it sort of comes off in the middle when you're eating and drinking. So yeah, I highly recommend going for a nude and I'm going to be using this wonderful Superstay Matte Ink in the color Amazonian. This is like a brown girl's best friend, oh my god. I'm obsessed. And we're done with the makeup side of things. I think the only thing left that you can do is add sparkles, glitter, gems, whatever you want to just elevate your festival look and make it your own. So I hope this look inspired you enough to want to recreate it yourself or even just create your own festival look. That's it from me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to The Makeup Loved. See you next time. Bye.